Hey there, it's Brie, and this is my March ebook haul. So, in the month of March, I ended up downloading over 30 ebooks, which probably is about right. Like, I download a lot of ebooks, and that's mostly because I get them free or they're available on Kindle Unlimited. This month was also the Kindle Clear Out Readathon, so I did read quite a few ebooks as well. So, you know, it's it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. And one thing that I've noticed for the Kindle Clear Out Readathon, I ended up reading quite a few books that I had downloaded for free and I really liked them. So, I don't feel bad for downloading a bunch of free ebooks. Let's go ahead and jump into this because there are so many that I have to talk about. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about them, otherwise we'll be here for 300 years. So, the first book that I downloaded was Opposites Attract. This one I downloaded for free as of the day that I'm filming this. It is still free, so it may still be free. This one's an Enemies to Lovers, Neighbors to Lovers romantic comedy. And look at that cover. It looks absolutely adorable. So let's read the synopsis really quick. Like after I download these, I almost immediately forget what they're about. So I have to read the synopsis. <laughs> this one is 206 pages long. So this is a single mom romance. The heroine is a single mom. And she's a divorce lawyer. She is convinced that there's no good men left in the world and it says that the worst offender is her new neighbor, Dr. Lucas Keller, and he's a couples therapist. Apparently he has a bad temper. So it's a neighbor romance. I really like neighbor romances. Next, I downloaded Intoxicated. It's felony romance book number one. This one I downloaded for free. It is still free. And... Welcome Oz. This one I'm guessing is a bad boy romance. It's 252 pages long. He is a playboy bartender at the dirtiest club in town. It very clearly says this book is not about adultery, which is nice. So I guess the bar is called Felony Bar and it's a notorious underground club. And then Jack, who is the hero, is the bartender there. And then it's their romance. Next is My Everyday Hero. It's Hot Hunks Steamy Romance Collection, book number one. This one I downloaded for free. It's still free. So this one's only 201 pages long. There are seven books in the Hot Hunks Everyday Heroes series. This one is about Colin. He has a dream of being an NFL player, but he knew it's not gonna happen. So he ended up putting his family first, switching gears, and then he ends up making a new life for himself and his daughter. So it's a single dad romance. And then it says, then one day he saves the life of one of his students and becomes a local hero. So he's some sort of teacher. The heroine is Alexa, and she apparently is the baby of the family. She has three older brothers, so hopefully they play a part in this. I guess she's having trouble in her dating life. She is a teacher, it sounds like. So that sounds really good. It sounds like the series is fun too, because I guess in the series there is an athletic director, a doctor, a construction worker, a CI army agent, a rancher, and an engineer, military pilot. So it sounds like the series could be pretty fun. That's the thing, I feel like a lot of books that are free are usually in the beginning of series and that's great because it gives you an opportunity to try out the series and see if you wanna move on and actually buy the rest of the books. So I think it's smart when authors do that and when they have like a series like that. All right, next I downloaded Delicate Ink by Carrie Ann Ryan. I don't know if I've been saying the author's names, so I apologize for that, but it'll be down in the description box below and I also have the Where's the, the picture will be up here. So this is Delicate Ink. It's Montgomery Ink, book number one. And I feel like Montgomery Ink sounds familiar to me. I don't, I haven't read it, but it, the name sounds familiar to me. And this one I downloaded for free. It is still free. It's 370 pages long. So this one is about a bachelor who is ready to finally settle down. And it sounds like it might be like an insta-love or love at first sight because it says one look at the woman who comes in for new ink and Austin Montgomery knows she's the one for him. The problem, she can't stand him. So it sounds like it's going to be hate to love. That sounds cute. And then obviously it, it takes place in a tattoo parlor. So if you like tattooed heroes, check this book out. Next is Coming Home. It's fully invested. Book number one. This is by KB Allen. This book I downloaded for free and it is still free. So this is part of a three book series. It's 226 pages long. The main character, Rose, it says she never expected to return to Wildlife Ridge after she graduated high school. And then it's 16 years later and she wants to spend some time focusing on her new life as an entrepreneur. It sounds like it's one of those situations where it's a heroine who came from a small town, moved to a big city, and is now coming back. 
and it says she's excited to spend time with her parents and has barely given a passing thought to Ethan again. So it almost sounds like this is going to be a second chance romance. So I guess Ethan has some regret because I guess they were supposed to go to prom together and he ended up canceling on her. So yeah, second chance small town romance. Without reservation, this is Sandy Ridge book number one by Lynn Burke. I downloaded this for free and it is still free. This is part of a three book series and it only is 142 pages long. So it sounds like this might be an emotional story because it says it's a woman trying to escape grief and then it's a polyamorous relationship because it says two men are a missing piece of her life's puzzle. So I guess her mom had passed away and she's heading on vacation with her two best friends. She ends up running into two men that she apparently idolizes, Trevor and Jack. They are artists, I think, and then I guess it's a relationship between the three of them. So that's pretty fun. Next, I downloaded Merrick. It's the Vartic King Chronicles, book number one by Lisa Probes. And this one I downloaded for free. It's still free. This is part of a seven book series. It's 234 pages long. Sounds like the heroine is a thief and it's something that's always been her life's ambition. It says that I find myself in trouble with the feline king. Is this a shifter romance? I'm trying to look. A handsome humanoid is waiting for company on a long trip and he's offering just the help I need for a cost. And then the hero's name is Merrick. And I guess he's supposed to step up as the rightful king of his people. He needs an adventure and a beautiful woman to help keep his blood warm. And then he ends up finding her, I guess. It's a sci-fi standalone series. So is he an alien? It looks alien-ish. Like the cover looks alien-ish. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Beg For You. It's Rocktown Inc. book number one by Cherilee Gray. I downloaded this for free. It's still free. Book one in a five-part series. It's 232 pages long. And this is a small town romance. So it sounds like it's a revenge romance. The hero is a tattoo artist. And he has been hunting down this man who tore his family apart. And I guess one day the daughter of the man walks into his tattoo parlor and I think it's their romance. So that sounds really good. Then I downloaded Ignite You. It's Cole Brothers series, book number one. It's by Diana A. Hicks. I downloaded this one for free. It's still free. This is part of a four book series so far. It's 398 pages long. So this is a mafia romance because I think the hero is a former mafia hitman. And it sounds like this is also a revenge romance because I guess the heroine is holding some sort of grudge against him. Apparently two years years prior they like kissed in a library or something and then he like disappeared so she's a bartender and then he shows up at her bar and then that's where the story begins it sounds like okay so next i downloaded thor it's gods on earth book number one this one's a paranormal romance with norse gods tricksters and faded mates which sounds very interesting i downloaded this for free and it's still free this is the first book in a three book series and it's 203 pages long, so fairly short. The hero and the heroine meet in a bar and then he leaves and she thinks she's never gonna see him again. I guess she walks home and then he shows up again and there's like lightning and his glowing eyes. So obviously this is like a Thor kind of almost fan fiction-y type of thing. So that's interesting. We'll see how it goes. That would be good to read for a readathon, I think. Next, I downloaded The Vampire Wants a Wife. It's Supernatural Dating Agency, book number one by Andy M. Long. This one I downloaded for free and it's still free. This one I mostly got because of the cover. Like I thought the cover looks super adorable. So this sounds like it's a paranormal rom-com. It's the first book in a six book series. It's 204 pages long. One of the reviews says it's quirky and a totally British read. So if you like that British sense of humor, you might like this one. And apparently it's about a dating agency for paranormal beings. Then I downloaded Attic. It's Cravings book number one by Rachel Orman and Leanne Rabesa. This one I downloaded for free. It's still free. This is an erotic BDSM novel and it's the first book in a three book series. It's 217 pages long. So the heroine is apparently a sex addict, which is interesting. She's also a submissive, it sounds like, because it says that she's looking for her master. And then the hero's name is John and he's addicted to control. So obviously he's a dom. And I guess they meet at a BDSM club. Next, I downloaded Twisted Lies. It's Dirty Secrets book number one. This one I downloaded for free. It's still free. I really like that cover. This one is the first book in a four book series. It's only 100 
111 pages long. This one is supposed to be an emotional, steamy enemies to lovers romance. And the first line of it says, love her, ruin her, how about both? So that sounds interesting. I guess the heroine is a rising fashion star and the hero is a rich, sexy, former kingpin in New York City's underground crime underbelly. So it sounds like it might be a mafia romance. Next is Bree's Submission. It's books number one through three. It's the Bree Collection. It's by Red Phoenix. I believe the author has been at some events that I've been to. This one I downloaded for free. It's still free. And I figure, like, I like to read books by authors who show up at events that I go to, like back when we were going to events, because then I feel like I would be more inclined to like go and visit them and get their autograph on some of their books and buy physical copies of their books. So I'm excited to try this. So this is the entire three book series. So the entire thing is 522 pages long. I guess the main character Brie gets an invitation to this exclusive submissive training center. <laughs> And then she learns about the art of submission. Ooh, it sounds like it might be... So I guess you don't know initially who she's going to end up with. It's not very clear who the hero is because it says, as graduation day approaches, she can only be collared by one, which Dom will win her. So that actually sounds pretty fun. Next, I downloaded The Fallen, Genesis, Deadly Virtues by Tilly Cole. This one I downloaded because it's part of Kindle Unlimited. And I downloaded this one because I recently did my Kindle Unlimited books that I want to read. I'll link that video down below. High priority books that I want to read that are available on Kindle Unlimited. Because I had mentioned, I think, Raphael, which is the first book in the series. But someone mentioned that I should read this book, which is the prequel. So I ended up downloading this book. So I've only read one book by Tilly Cole before, but I definitely wanted to read more because I like that book. This is only 108 pages long. And this is, oh, I, this whole series is about like a bunch of murderers. <laughs> I guess. And this is kind of their origin story. Oh, and then this next one was gifted to me and it is Fable by Adrian Young. I have been wanting to read this book for a while. I know that Carrie from Booked for Romance really, really likes this book. So I think the second book just came out. It's 361 pages long. It is a YA fantasy. I don't know too much about what this is. I know that it takes place on the sea and that's pretty much all I know about it. Definitely want to read it. Thank you so much for gifting that to me. It was a complete surprise. It just showed up in my email and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Next, I downloaded Million Miles Away. This one is by Alice Bain and I downloaded this for free. It's still free. This book is 244 pages long. It looks like it's a standalone. Doesn't look like it's part of a series, which is nice. Ooh, the first line says life-changing love almost feels like an invasion. Interesting. So so I guess the main character, the heroine, has had medical issues for over a year and she has a sudden allergy to foods and medications and sleep paralysis. During her sleep paralysis, she's been seeing like these figures and then one of the faces stood out to her more than the others. It's always stayed with her and like drew her in and everything and I guess it's a romance between her and that face. So I guess that's where the romance element comes in and that sounds really really good. It sounds intriguing. Like the the synopsis is pretty mysterious. Like it doesn't go into very good detail which is what I like. So that sounds really good. I almost wonder if it's like a ghost kind of romance or an angel romance or something. All right next is Trigger. It's Devil's Reach book number one. This is by J.L. Drake. I downloaded this for free. It's still free. I can't believe so many of these are still free. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, these will all still be free. So this is the first book in a three book series. It's 332 pages long. Ooh, apparently it ends on a cliffhanger because it is part of a series. So keep that in mind. The very first line of this says, I was raised by the devil himself, formed into a man who was unreachable. So the hero apparently is not a good person. I went from a boy with bruises to a man with a trigger. Wow. Interesting. And that's like all... It really says. So I don't know too much about it, but obviously it is, I hate to call it a bad boy romance because he's clearly not a boy. Like look at that cover, but clearly it's a tortured hero, like bad boy hero. We love to see it. All right. Next, I downloaded The Spark, It's Touch Me, book number one by Laura Ingvar. And this book I downloaded for free. It's still free. 322 pages long. So apparently the heroine is somewhat morally gray because it says that there isn't anything she wouldn't do to help her family including like lying to her boyfriend and getting a shady job and things like that. She ends up becoming a personal assistant to, it says, the mysterious head of the Azak Corporation. So it sounds like this might be like a 
maybe darker workplace romance, which sounds interesting. I'm assuming that the romance is between her and that head of the agency. Next, I downloaded One Black Rose by Maddie Edwards. This one I downloaded for free. It is still free. First book in a nine book series so far. It's 181 pages long. This says that it's a modern day fairy tale. Oh, it sounds like it might be a love triangle. She ends up planning on spending the summer in Maine, planning on just like hanging out the beach. And then she meets this guy called Holt. And it says that he's unlike any other guy she's ever met before. But then she meets his friend, Samuel. And it says if her reaction to Holt was strong, her reaction, reaction to, to Samuel, Samuel is shocking. She knows that there's something very strange going on, but no one will tell her anything. Okay, so this is considered a fantasy romance. And I'm wondering if it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but it's weird that it's a love triangle if it's Beauty and the Beast retelling. I'm guessing because of the rose, it would be Beauty and the Beast. I'm not sure. Next, I downloaded Imperfect Chemistry. It's Imperfect Series, book number one. It's by Mary Frame. This is a nerdy romantic comedy, and I downloaded this for free. It's still free, and this is part of a six-book series. This one is 266 pages long, so I guess the heroine is super smart. It says that she puts the word genius to shame. Even though she's super brilliant and everything, she doesn't quite understand people, so interacting with people is difficult. And then I guess this is a neighbor romance because the hero's name is Jensen and he ends up moving in next to her. And it's the one person that she finds appealing. So that sounds cute. Next, I downloaded Survive the Fall. This is Dark Eagle book number one by Julia Bright. I downloaded this for free. It's still free. This is the first book in a four book series. It's 276 pages long. The heroine, it says she has no military training or fighting experience, but I guess like the two, this ends up being like a force togetherness situation because they end up having to like work together. And it says Adam was only supposed to be one night of mindless sex to help her forget, but then he ends up being like her bodyguard or something interesting next i downloaded savage hunger it's the savage series book number one by lisa renee jones this book i downloaded for free it's still free it's the first book in a four book series it's 300 pages long so apparently this is a very intense series that's what it's telling me the hero goes by the name savage it says he can make you laugh then rip your heart out so that's cute Ooh, it sounds like it's a second chance romance and the heroine i guess she was with him initially and then for whatever reason they broke up and now she's with this other man she's engaged to him and he's awful so it might be a situation where he ends up like rescuing her from him then i downloaded brooks it's dirty misfits mc book number one by savannah rylan obviously this is a motorcycle club romance i downloaded this one for free it's still free it's the first book in a six book series it's only 189 pages long apparently the hero was in prison and then he's out now he's looking for the heroine her name's raven and apparently she was his best friend's girlfriend, but I guess he died and he's saying that it's all his fault and that he needs to take care of her. So a little bit of a forbidden aspect to that, I guess. And then I downloaded C791. It's Cyborgs More Than Machines book number one by Eve Langlass. And this one I downloaded for free. It's still free. Obviously, it's like an AI or cyborg sci-fi romance. First book in a seven book series. It's only 176 pages long. I prefer these type of romances like sci-fi or like AI type romances to be short. Like I don't, I found that I don't like when they're longer and they try to be more than what they are. So it says machines aren't supposed to feel, but the cyborg can't help falling in love. So it's a machine that ends up falling in love. We love to see it. This next book that I downloaded, I downloaded on Kindle Unlimited. It's on Kindle Unlimited, obviously. Um, it's Alien Quarantine Rescue. It's a Faded Mates sci-fi romance by Robin Lovett. And I downloaded this book because I'm buddy reading it with Kayla, Izzy, and Nicole. We love our ridiculous romances. This book I'm in the middle of reading. It's only 189 pages long. 189 pages is too long. I know that right off the bat. It's not that it's bad. I mean, when you go into something called Alien Quarantine Rescue, you know what you're coming in for. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous and hilarious, like unintentionally hilarious. It's a lot. It's a lot. This book is a lot. So basically the entire world is in quarantine. Like it's almost like apocalyptic. The pandemic is called Barona or Birona. And I'm like subtle. <laughs> but anyway, apparently this like kills you in three days. It's super highly contagious and there's only a handful of people left. And then this alien shows up on the heroine's front yard and apparently he has antibodies and the only way he can give them to her is by doing her. <laughs> And it's ridiculous. 
So it's just ridiculous. If you want a fun, ridiculous read, I recommend reading this one and Buddy reading it because we're having a great time. I then downloaded Made of Steel by Ivy Smoke. This one I downloaded for free. It's still free. I feel like I've seen this author's name around quite a bit, but I haven't read anything by them. And this is the first book in a three book series. It's 319 pages long. Um, it says my knight in shining armor wears a mask. V knows everything about me, but I have no idea who he is. That is a way to suck me in. Like the whole, oh my most Phantom of the Opera-esque type of thing. So I'm not going to read any more than that because I kind of want it to be a surprise, but I'm hoping it's like a Phantom of the Opera kind of like retelling-ish thing. Next, I downloaded Trashy Foreplay. This is Trashy Affair, book number one by Gemma James. This book is free. It's still free. And there's only two books in the series out right now. It's 271 pages long. Ooh, so I guess the hero... Okay, I, I downloaded this recently, which is why I remember what it's about. So the hero is flying home to confront his cheating wife, and then he meets the heroine on a plane. That's another thing that I really like. I actually really like when the hero and the heroine meet on a plane, because that's like forced togetherness. Like, they're stuck together. And it's almost like getting trapped in an elevator or something, because you have all this time to build up chemistry with somebody and that's when I feel like it's most acceptable to have like an insta love like when they instantly fall for each other because they've been stuck together for a long time they just like have a conversation and hopefully if it's done well then that means they'll have really good chemistry so that was the last book that I downloaded let me know down below if you downloaded any of these or if you've read any of these thank you so much for watching and as always happy reading